don't do too much. I am making this video message to anybody who is doing too much when it comes to you really trying to understand why someone is distancing themselves from you or someone does not seem to really care about the friendship you have with them or someone you may be dating does not really um, care about how you feel about various things or there is just some level of tension in your relationship or interaction with somebody and you begin to do too much what is doing too much i'm going to break it down for you all doing too much is you going out of your way to really chase behind or seek after a person who keeps showing you that they really don't want to be bothered with you or they just simply don't care about what is going on meaning the issue at hand and a lot of people who begin to do too much they will do things like they will send long paragraphs in text messages if that's you don't do it just just don't do it anymore because when somebody does not want to talk to you, when somebody is irritated by you, when somebody has moved on, and I don't care what your connection is to them, the last thing you want to do is send them a long, drawn-out text message telling them how you feel, reminding them of what you all have been through, or reminding them of things they've done to you, or you ask them a bunch of questions. When somebody does not want to be bothered, they don't care what you're asking them. They don't care how you feel. They don't care what you're reminding them of. And so when you put yourself in a position where you begin to do too much, in actuality, you are making that situation worse. Some people, um, when you try to seek after them, to have a conversation with them to get closure or to get clarity and they continue to ignore you they continue to manipulate you they continue to gaslight you some people will do too much where they start asking them all of these questions as to why they're doing what they're doing is it somebody else tell me what i did tell me what i said People will even bring Jesus Christ into it and they will start making statements saying, well, maybe we need to pray. Um, maybe God did this for this particular reason. And guys, you all have to understand that sometimes God may not necessarily speak to you about a relationship or about your bond and connection with a family member or somebody you're dating. Sometimes God speaks to you through how that person is treating you. And so if that person is showing you that they don't want to be bothered, no matter how much you text them, no matter what questions you ask them, or no matter how much you explain how you feel about them or the situation or them lacking and showing how they feel about you, um, you have to take it for what it is. We see a lot of signs of different things that go on in our life but we make the choice to either pay attention to it or to ignore it and continue to move on in life all i'm telling you all is stop doing so much stop doing so much because someone who cares about you if they care about your friendship they are going to make it their business to have a conversation with you so they know to tell you where you stand with them they will tell you these are or this is the reason why i no longer want this particular friendship or i don't want this particular relationship people will show you that they've moved on and maybe they found a better relationship and sometimes people won't tell you anything but that is still an answer you got to be okay with knowing that the silence of someone that you think highly of or that you love or that you respect or that you expect to do 
to you the same things you do to them, you've got to be okay when they don't do any of it. You never start to do too much because sometimes people will take it the wrong way and outside of them being agitated that you keep overly explaining yourself and you keep asking them a bunch of questions and you keep sending out text after text after text they will look at you as a weak person they will look at you as I, I hate to say it but a pathetic person and they will look at you like you're the type of person who does not have a life if you replay in your head right now any connection you've had with somebody and there was tension there or you all fell out with each other or something kicked off where you all were not getting along think about how they treated you when you kept going to them asking them why they were acting funny think about how they acted when you sent them a long just drawn out text message did they respond to it or when they responded, did they text you back one word or two or three words? And you sent them two or three or four paragraphs. You've got to keep your dignity. You've got to keep your backbone. And you've got to be okay and understand that some things simply just don't work out. We always will if you really know God and if you are walking with God for real we do as Christian people we want a sign from God we want an answer from God we want to hear the voice of God explain to us what our next move should be concerning a friendship or a relationship but sometimes you will find that God is not going to speak to you about that particular friendship not um as far as he's saying something in your spirit, sometimes all you're going to see is what that person is doing in front of you. You are going to see the reality of that situation. When people do not want to be bothered with you, when people do not want to explain anything to you, when people do not want to answer any of your questions, you are going to see them pull back from you you are going to see them give you very short answers when you ask them questions you are going to see them outright ignore you you are going to see them get very irritated or agitated with you these are the things you're going to see don't always expect God's voice to come and say something to you to let you know where you stand with that person or with those people. It's not always going to be a prophetic voice that comes to you and tells you um, this particular friend is done with you. This particular person that you think you love, that you're dating, they have moved on. Sometimes the resistance that you're getting is the sign. Stop doing so much and maintain your pride maintain your dignity maintain your self-respect anything that god has for you you don't have to sweat it you don't have to manipulate it you don't have to chase after it you don't have to keep overly explaining yourself. You don't have to keep asking a bunch of questions. You don't have to keep sending out a bunch of text messages. You don't have to set up your friends or people who love you for real to go and talk to that person on your behalf. You don't have to do these things because people that really value you and people that really know you and they love you the way that you love them and they respect you the way that you respect them, you are going to see them conduct themselves as such. When you start doing too much, the worse you're going to feel. And I don't know how many of you all I'm talking to, but I am letting you know 
Sometimes when your heart is broken and you are irritated and you don't understand what's going on and you feel yourself falling into a deeper depression and you feel like, you know what, nobody understands me, nobody cares about me, I don't know what's going on. It's simply because you're doing too much. You are literally wearing yourself out. You are stressing yourself out because you don't want to let go and accept that you are not getting the same response back from that person you once were friends with or that you're friends with or the person that you're dating or the person that you had some type of interaction or connection with. That's why you feel the way that you feel. It's really draining when you have to keep chasing, if this is you. It's draining when you have to chase behind people to try to understand why they do the things that they do. You all got to understand that also there are people out here who are what you call cowards. They are cowards. They are not man enough or woman enough to just simply come and tell you that they found somebody else that they feel fits them as far as a relationship goes there are some people who are not man enough or woman enough to tell you that you just don't have the personality or even the life that they uh like or accept as far as being connected to them and so they don't want to hang around you. They don't want to be bothered with you. And if you think that it's just young people that go through this or just middle-aged people that go through this, there are older people that go through this. It's not just young people. Because, see, people who want acceptance, people who want others to understand them, people who want love, it's no age limit on that. You would think that once somebody got to a certain age, they would say, okay, if somebody's acting funny with me or somebody is not answering my calls or I have to keep texting them in order to get them to respond back to me, um, you would think that it's somebody that's younger. But there are some people, and there may be some of you out there, all of your life you have been the one to chase after other people. You have been the one who has experienced the rejection. Things look promising with new relationships and friendships and bonds you have with people. Things look like they're on the up and up. You feel like a prayer of yours for God to connect you with people who have your heart. You feel like a prayer may have been answered, but something always seems to go wrong to where that person that you were vibing with, or that you were doing business with, or that you were pouring your heart out to, now they are acting funny. And people will start to act funny towards you for different reasons. It's not always because of a spiritual sense, as far as you being a certain place spiritually, and that person being on the opposite end spiritually it's not always why people act funny towards you it's not always uh people act funny towards you because um they have an issue with you shining bright or having the spirit of god in you sometimes people will go through their own things in life Sometimes it's not always personal. I want to put that out there as well. It's not always personal why people act funny towards you. It could just be that people act funny towards you and they act different towards you because they are going through something in their life, but they are not yet ready to talk to you about it. They are not ready to explain it. People are sometimes embarrassed when they have to take a hit or when they go through certain things in life. But when you keep chasing behind that person and you keep trying to get understanding and you keep calling them and you keep trying to reach out to them, you keep emailing them, you keep showing up at their doorstep. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You may be emotional about the fact that you and that person are no longer talking and you all are not hanging out. Please understand that it is not always a personal issue. 
everybody is not ready to have a conversation with you as far as what they're going through in their marriage or what they're going through at work or in ministry or even mentally and emotionally. Sometimes when people get hit with a particular thing, they have to take time alone without talking to anybody and without being around anybody because they have to process what has happened to them. But you make yourself appear like you have no life. You make, and I and I hate to say that, guys, but I'm, I'm trying to say it in the most loving way, to help somebody. Just don't do too much. Stop doing so much. After you've reached out to somebody one time and you've called them or you've sent them a text, and even if they respond to you and it's a short answer, okay, this is outside of them maybe being a coward. If that's not them and they have something else going on, if they did not give you the response that you expected or that you feel entitled to, you've got to leave things where they are. Because every connection that is meant uh, to be in your life, it is going to flow. It is not going to be stressful. You are not going to be confused about it. You are not going to fall into a depression about it. You are not going to be crying about it. You are not going to be angry about it. You get to be very secure and knowing and understanding and even believing. You know what, God? If it's meant for me to be friends with this person, they're going to spin the block and they're going to come back to me and they're going to let me know why they acted funny towards me. You know what, God? Their relationship with him or her that I thought was promising and I thought it was going somewhere um, and they cut me off unexpectedly. If it's meant for us to be together, Father, I know that you'll bring them back to me. I know that I'll run into them again. I know that they will call me and they will let me know that they care about me, they miss me, and they love me. You know what, God? That connection that I had with a particular person in church or I was really bonding with this particular family member when at one point we were not really close, but now they're back acting weird with me. You know what, God, if it's meant for me to be connected to them, although they're my flesh and blood, Father, you're going to bring them back to me. You're going to touch their heart to reconcile with me. You're going to touch their heart to realize, you know what? I'm doing her wrong. I'm doing him wrong. I need to make a phone call. I need to go visit them. All I'm saying, and I'm going to get out of here, is that if you have been the type of person who's always doing too much, you are very emotional or overly emotional and overly vocal about certain things. As far as your connections with people, whatever the title is, I'm here to tell you today, stop doing too much stop asking a bunch of questions because the more you try to dig into understanding why people are doing the things they're doing to you the more disappointed you're going to be you feel more proud you feel more secure you rest in the fact that you can be okay not saying you might not be hurt not saying you might not be curious to understand what's going on with certain people but you will feel better once you just relax your spirit relax your mind and you let things naturally and organically play out the way they're supposed to play out you don't have to chase behind anybody and sometimes a person's interpretation of not always calling somebody or text messaging somebody or asking them certain questions they may take it as you're being a prideful person or you're being an arrogant person but that's not always what it is sometimes you have got to worry about your own mental health and your own emotional health and if somebody is putting you in a place where now it is compromised because you've been doing too much chasing behind them because you're trying to do whatever you can to get that friendship back and get that relationship back and get that understanding back and that could you know interaction back you are breaking off pieces of your dignity little by little more and more and more 
You don't have to keep doing too much. What God has for you is always going to come to you in due time and in due season. But if you jump ahead of God and if you don't have a, a spirit of patience in you, then you will begin to do too much. I cannot tell you all how a long time ago I got to the point years ago where I learned to just chill. I learned to just chill and be cool and be patient when certain relationships in my life with people started to fall apart. After I may have with certain ones, I may have reached out and called them. I may have reached out and said certain things or asked certain questions. I may have done that a couple of times, but when it got to the point, I just was like, I'm not doing this anymore. I cannot tell you all how much better I began to feel when I just allow things to play out naturally. That's the video message. Well, guys, it's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord will and I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have taken offense to anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.